Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to pair your or get your keyboard and mouse working with um, any Android games. Uh, we're going to be using something called USB Joystick Center 7 and Joystick Joy to Touch Server 4. So go ahead and buy those and install them. The Joy to Touch server is free, but this I believe is 5 bucks. So once you have those, you are going to go into USB to slash BT. And it's probably going to say no devices found, like it says online. So what you're going to have to do is connect your keyboard either through Bluetooth or here I have an old keyboard and mouse which just plugs in. So I have an OTG adapter. So I'm just going to plug that into my Nexus 7, like so. Sorry if the video is kind of bad. I'm kind of just doing this on the fly. Okay, um, it still says no devices found. Um, if you press or remove the mouse, it, it, it's working, but it still says no devices. And if you press search, it probably still won't work. So first what you have to do is you have to turn on the keyboard it has a kind of like a special keyboard thing here so just click on the USB Joy IME and now you'll notice um, it shows it's on okay next you're going to need to turn on this Joy to Touch and you will have to have a rooted device to do this so just click that then it says starting joy to touch server it'll pop something up and it'll say devices found so now that it found those devices try pressing search doesn't find anything so now try pressing something on your keyboard such as space it'll automatically research and you see it found, find something found something okay now do the same thing for your mouse move your mouse it'll say scanning and now it says it found a mouse too so the first thing you're going to want to do is go over here to your keyboard and you're going to click on, it might yours might look a little different from this but because I've already set these, but click on touch edit M and what this does is this turns on the edit mode for adding um, controls to your screen. So it will kind of show in this, when you click on these, these, you click on one of these and then you press the corresponding button that you want it to. Um, that you want to use. So what this does though is, so I'm going to use F1 and then for this one I'm going to use F2 and then for this one I'm going to use F3. Okay so let me tell you what these do. This shows, touch edit M shows an overlay and it will let you set up your controls but the game will still be running in the background or the game in the background will still be receiving touch input from the screen. So I usually use touch edit S, S which is F2 for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and that will disable touches in the background. So in whatever game. Um, mouse reel. This will allow you to turn the mouse on and off. So like if you have the mouse attached to a some sort of control stick or whatever um, this will allow you, if you press F3, it'll allow the mouse to move. So, uh, nothing in the mouse is really required, so that is pretty much it here. Um, in order to get this to work, you are going to have to press back. You can't press home, I don't believe, and that will um, set it all up. You'll notice here up at the top there should be two new icons, um, both of which say there's two things running. You can just wipe away that. Okay, now you're going to go over here into the Joy to Touch, and it says Touch Test Area. So what you're going to do is, as I've set mine up to be F2, or the one, the, let me show you the difference between F1 and F2. You see here, if I start dragging around the screen, well first of all, let me just show you. You see how it shows it? It shows it here. Now if I press F2, you notice there's no, it doesn't detect the, detect the touch in the background. So I already have some stuff set up here. This is for Modern Combat 4. But let me go ahead and show you how to do this. So it automatically the it automatically loaded the keyboard driver, 
which set WASD to a control stick. It set the arrow keys to a control stick. And then the rest are just buttons. And it also set the mouse to a slider. So here's how you do it. You would press the button. So let's say I want to do the WASD. I would hold this down. And let me, first let me get rid of this one. Hold on here. Okay, so here's, let's say you want to do a WASD control stick. You hold down, like, one of the things, so I'll just hold down A. Then, you simply tap on the screen. Sorry, I'm trying to tap on the screen, and it'll pop up a control stick. Then you'll notice, now WASD, it all shows you it's doing something. Now, you'll also notice, down here at the bottom, it says range. If you press up, if you press W, the range, the circle get, gets larger. If you press S, the circle gets smaller. And that's pretty much how that works. For any other button, let's say I want to do Y, you simply hold down Y and press somewhere on the screen. And it'll map it, and then when I press Y, you can see it kind of lights up. Let me just remove that. You always press the button first, and then you hold down the screen for about two seconds. Okay, so let's say you want to change the WASD switch to a slider instead of a joystick. All you would do is hold down A again, and tap the screen, and change it to a slider. And then, once again, pressing S and W change the speed. And as you see, if I were to hold it down, it just slides all the way across. Um... Okay, so now let me show you how to actually set up these controls in Modern Combat 4. So, let me... Oops. Okay, so once Modern Combat 4 is set up, the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to go into your options. You're going to go over here to controls, and you're going to change the control layout to screen tap where move is on the left, aim is on the right, and they're both sliding, not um, the other, not the joystick for movement. Okay, also I turned my HUD opacity all the way down and my sensitivity all the way up because the sensitivity is still very low. Okay, now I'll hit resume and now you're going to press F2 as people die in the background and someone just ran right by me. But anyways, um, so this is pretty much what it's going to look like. This, even though it's set on slide, you're going to have to have it as a joystick. The mouse, the only thing you can have it as is slide. And then the buttons, just map whatever button you want to the actual thing you want. Okay, then simply press F2 to save. So, as you can see, they all work. Um, the joystick doesn't work too terribly great. Or the WASD doesn't work too terribly great but it does work. Uh, still trying to kind of figure that one out. But um, you, you have to move it to the slide to touch or you have to move it to the screen tap because the screen tap control layout because the joystick when you had the movement joystick down here it would go all wacko if you tried to set it to that. Um, the other thing is every time as you can see the mouse works First of all, I have the mouse sensitivity turned all the way up on the slider. I have the slider speed to 10. And I have the aim sensitivity in the settings all the way up. And it still is not as fast as I would like it. Um, I map shift to the run. Um, space is my zoom. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it. Um, the only other thing is, every time you die, see what happens is the mouse is always being held down on the screen. So what happens is when you die, you have to reset the mouse. So in order to do that, you're just going to press your the button that you set to the turn mouse on and off, which mine is F3. So you see now my mouse is off, and now it's back on, and that, that will reset it. So um, the reason why is because it's pretty much holding your finger on the screen the entire time, and when you die, it's still holding it down but it doesn't, it never lets go. So.
Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Kind of failing here. But thanks for watching. That is it. Goodbye.